Youth in the Niger Delta region have been advised to embrace the use of poetry as a tool for advocacy and agitations while making demands from the government. An environmentalist and director of health of Mother Earth Foundation, Nimo Basi, gave the advice. It was during the training of Ogoni youth on the use of video documentary as a tool for advocacy. It was held at the Ken Saruwa Memorial Park, Bani community in Kana, local government area of River State. Globally, the blowout of performance poetry has made it a growing art form that can be used to propagate and express thoughts on many issues in the society. An environmentalist and director of health of Mother Earth Foundation, Nimo Basi, said people must use language that can change the world and every situation around them. One of this is the use of poems as poetry speaks truth to power and reveals corruption. We thought it was all the other day we danced in the street. Bassi stressed the need for people to focus more on the use of motion and still graphics, written words, especially poetry and prose, in showcasing dangers of oil exploration. He added that it is a viable tool for nonviolent agitation. I believe campaigning with cultural tools, which is the bedrock of nonviolent protest or campaigning is the best method of all the methods and we may still see that things are still going wrong but things would have been worse if people were not conscious of the fact that they have to protect their culture protect their environment protect their life because when they when they promote their culture they're promoting the conditions that will make they're more productive citizens. Basi also decried the decreasing life expectancy of people living in the Niger Delta region, lamenting that it has fallen to 41 years. He noted that life expectancy in the region is on the downward slide because of the implications of oil exploration, which pollutes the environment. You know, the Niger Delta is one of the most polluted places on planet Earth. In fact, it's ranked amongst the top 10, one of the top 10 most polluted places. And here we have all the conditions that cut life short. The soil is contaminated, the water is contaminated, the air is contaminated. People just can't, can't enjoy life. They can't, they, the Nigerian the people cannot live to the full extent that nature and God has blessed them to, to, to live because of this contamination. Because both oil spills, gas flares, soot and so on, they cause cancers, they cause breathing diseases like bronchitis, like asthma. Uh, blood disorders, they cause kidney failure, they cause lung cancer, they cause bed defects. Children are born with all kinds of defects. The youth opine that cultural expressions such as music and poetry are powerful sources of strength in moments of crisis. According to them, they can be a ray of light in the darkness, helping to increase the resilience of people when their rights are violated. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.